Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Finally, some confirmation of what is next, and thankfully, it's exactly the promo that we expected and wanted. Today, guys, we're going to talk about footies a little bit more and a player SBC leak that is somebody who always seems to crash the market when he gets dropped as an SBC. So it's good to have a little bit of leaks. It's good to have a little bit of conversation upcoming for what is next because, man, we need it right now in this game level up is getting a bit stale but at least we have a lot of eafc and 24 information as well make sure you check out yesterday's upload where we talked a lot about eafc and some behind the scenes kind of exclusive information about ultimate team specifically i'll link that right up here that was from my ability to be able to virtually attend that event in amsterdam the one where holland walked out in his green pajamas but without further ado let's drop in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new and as we always do we'll start with yesterday's comment content fabio carvalho he looks like a decent card and the price is good that's basically all that i have to say about this sbc man i can't lie it does have just kind of mid vibes to me but of course it is pretty cheap like 90 to 100 000 coins for that card only two squads if this interests you 84 87 with a team of the week or team of the season ggs get it done maybe one for the bundesliga or a, a pass and present liverpool um maybe one of those right that could be where he fits into your side also portuguese if you need the renato links i just got the renato finally finished uh, we've been grinding a lot of the games i'm not entirely done just yet helping out some other people that i'm doing co-op with get this uh, Renato done but 94 Renato is in the main squad so now I've actually got a decent amount done not a ton but Renato is the biggest one of course that we put our coins and our grind into so that one is complete it's nice to have the 94 and to have that done now speaking of objectives yesterday I was also where we had some content another foot champs bonus and they included the Eredivisie once more now you do get it 85 times 10 for completing this entire thing if you're going to go ahead and get it done and guys don't sleep on this honestly because if we do get rewards changes for footies that might be worth looking into now yesterday when that was dropped eredivisie cards on the market absolutely exploded case in point with javi simons uh who also i believe just transferred um from psg to leipzig so that card would end up technically linking with the fabio carvalho i mean this guy yesterday i think was about 140,000 coins or something along those lines he was extinct or basically almost extinct at his max price of 230,000 coins he went up a bunch and look where he is right now back down to 141k a lot of those air DVC cards went up huge that's something to watch out for on tuesdays from here on out for the rest of the year maybe a quick flipping opportunity if they drop those plus weekly plus plus objectives seems a bit inconsistent some weeks they do it some weeks they don't but we're on two weeks in a row that they have and when it's a lower league like that that people have to buy more cards for that don't have in the club you see a lot of cards moving now yesterday we also had a lot of eafc information with the gameplay stuff we'll talk about that towards the end what i want to talk about first of course is footies guys and this is the tweet we were waiting for it's not quite like a loading screen but it is basically confirmation that we are getting footies right sheriff is leaking footies team number one he says coming this friday it's a bit anticlimactic because we expected it right and if you missed our in-depth video on footies make sure you check out yesterday's other video uh talking about the promo that could save fifa right now and it feels like footies has that potential to deliver that level of content but without a loading screen yet we're left with this tweet and really nothing else to really confirm that footies is coming but i mean this is pretty much good i think to believe it's you know we always take the leaks with a pinch of salt but this one should be spot on just because of the timing of the year the pack that's already in the code confirming footies and batch one re-release now the interesting thing and some people are reading into this a little bit he says footies team one is coming this friday and of course you think about footies you're like wait nate does that mean that footies cards are going to be in packs i would be shocked if they are i think footies is going to run the same way that it's run every single year guys i don't think that footies team one is going to mean that there's going to be a footies set of cards in packs by any means i think that's just foot sheriff's wording of saying like team one of all the sbcs and the objectives and the voting and everything they're going to drop during footies the first week of it is coming this friday again the best of that pack is literally in the code that ea added so there's a footies best of that is coming 100 percent. so we think it's going to be a footies that acts as normal and it's a normal promo as we expect it to be but the way he worded that tweet of course got a lot of people thinking about it now without a loading screen have there been some price drops on the market because of that tweet yes 
and no, but it's really not that much of a crash. It's just a couple prices have dipped, right? Musiala, I think, started the day yesterday at about 500 and like 90,000 coins. Right now, he's 555 on a bit of an undercut. As I take a look around the market, I see a few things that are down just a little bit, but it's not like that tweet caused mass panic and a lot of prices falling on the market as people were like, oh my goodness, it's footies, right? I think a lot of people, like we've been talking about during this last couple of days, a lot of people have been taking the time to liquidate cards out of their team that they need to, and the next wave of panic is probably going to come in like a surge of panic and really prices dropping a lot and dropping fast might happen a little bit with the loading screen. Um, but honestly, guys, it may not happen until after footies actually starts because you've seen prices drop a bit over the past few days as people have started to prepare for this. Like Riyad Mahrez has been dropping over the number of the past few days, right? Saturday, he was 1.28. Here we are now heading into Wednesday and he's down 200,000 coins. Will he drop further during footies? Probably, but for right now, he's not down that low. You look at guys like, I don't know, Jude Bellingham with all the midfielders we've had dropped recently, kind of like Goretzka um, and Chameni. He went from 1.7 mil all the way down to 1.3. Tots cards have been dropping anyway. So we're definitely seeing some prices dropping, but it's not like a huge panic sell market crash. It's like, boom, footies is announced and prices are dying. Really, I think prices could actually end up being kind of stagnant if we get a loading screen today and if we actually get some news, the official news, right, that footies is coming. Yes, the hype is going to build and yes, some prices might drop, but there may not be like an absolute crazy market crash. The prices just kind of might slide down a bit, um, except for the stuff that gets re-released back into packs, right? And I'm always going to make sure I'm very clear on that. Guys, anything that gets re-released last year, I believe it was Messi that was in the team, Messi and team of the year and also Messi team of the year re-released as a part of batch one is footies and a lot of those cards dropped off incredible amounts it's all about being in packs for the best of re-release that's really going to hurt a lot of prices but for the rest of the market there may be a bit of falling this week and then it all just depends on what happens friday and beyond with footies content as to where those prices would go in the next week now for sure one leak that we have right now it's not maybe related to footies but it is a leak a flashback Jamie Vardy. We've had a good amount of flashback SBCs recently, and one theme I'm noticing is like they're all Premier League. Tim Ream, Aubameyang, now we have Jamie Vardy. We've had a Premier League in uh, McAllister as the transfer card as well. Here we are once again with another Premier League striker. Last week, Aubameyang, this week, Vardy for sure. Uh, deserving of a flashback, like he hasn't had a special card in a long time this year. He had the Centurions card that I think, when, even when it was released, made some waves. Not that it was that expensive card, around 100,000 coins, but 90 pace, 90 shooting. Vardy always has that pace, always is a pretty good FIFA Ultimate Team card, right? And everybody, this is at least what I think back to. If you played FIFA back in FIFA 20, this Jamie Vardy card might haunt you because this is a card that destroyed all of the prices of strikers right at the beginning of the game. It was in the first full month. It was the beginning of November when this Jamie Vardy dropped, and it was so cheap. It was 24,000 coins for an 87-rated striker with 93 pace at the beginning of the game. You're like, Nate, how did that crash the market? It did because of the pace and because of the price of the SBC. Everybody was using this card back in FIFA 20, and Jamie Vardy is always like that. His cards are always somehow like market moving because I think it's the English links, it's the Premier League links, which still I think even though Leicester got relegated, this is still a Premier League card in FIFA 23 because nothing of like the leagues have changed or anything along those lines. So this is still going to be a Prem striker card in FIFA 23 if it is dropped here pretty soon. Um, and I think these stats could be pretty good predictions and it's probably going to be a pretty cheap SBC like Vardy SBCs are usually pretty cheap. You could say Prem tax um, might be a part of this, which is true, but like this card's 30,000 coins and has 4.6 million games played throughout the entire year. This is going to be an SBC that a lot of people will want to do similar on the hype levels, maybe even a little bit higher on the hype levels. Um, with the Aubameyang flashback, but Vardy just kind of brings back memories of the past, right? With the Leicester team that won the trophy, like that's on that image. If that was a dynamic image on that card, it would be worth it doing that SBC alone for that dynamic image. So if we're getting a Jamie Vardy here pretty soon, which I think we could be getting it today, I don't exactly know when this is going to drop. I think the Aubameyang SBC dropped on a Thursday, if I remember correctly, last week. It was either Wednesday or Thursday. So here in the next two days, I think we'll see the Vardy. Um, unless it's supposed to be a part of footies, um, then it could be released 
after, uh, maybe on Friday or beyond. But it feels like it might be one of the last SBCs of the level up promo and i hope it's cheap i hope it's like 250k or less and has really really good stats that would be a fun card to use especially with like a five star skill boost he's four four in the centurions card a five four or a five five if they made it five five i'd pay a little bit more because that would be a very very meta card so watch out for that one and of course like we saw when a was released Watch out for some of your other strikers. I think of like Gabriel Jesus. If you got a card like that in your team, maybe Joao Felix. Um, some of the most recent and most meta players that are Prem strikers, their prices could take a hit. Even like the icons, right? We were starting to trade last week to get to Eusebio. Um, or sorry, to get to Renato, when we're looking at cards like Eusebio and their prices really dropped off a considerable amount. Remember we traded with Baby R9 last week? He was a card that dropped off a lot because of the flashback that was released for Aubameyang. I would only imagine that the same sort of thing would happen if the value on Vardy is really, really good today or whenever it's released. So keep an eye out for that. There could be some prices moving there. Now, Wednesday content today. Will we get any surprises? I hope so, man. Again, yesterday was such a quiet day, but it makes sense, right? EA really trying to build the hype for FC24, so that was more the bigger news. Content on FIFA was not that big of news, but here we are once again on a Wednesday, and the 93 plus TOTS or Shapeshifters player pick is expiring. Last week, it expired, and they re-released another one. Will they do the same thing today? I hope so, all right? I hope EA do something like this today. Of course, the 85 times 7 is refreshing as well. Um, last couple of days, I would still do the daily login, by the way, even if you got it done yesterday and got all 12, which today will be my 12th day since I missed one a while back. But I would still do this. A 81 double for a bronze player? Like, sign me up, right? That's something if we could do every day, that'd be amazing, right? The 10 coin pack keeps refreshing the store as well. Do that one. You might as well. You never know what's going to happen. You, you never know what you might hit. So, I really hope they re-release this today. If they do, what would move? Fodder, 100%. Might be a decent day to sell some of your high-rated fodder, guys. Because if footies is coming like we do believe that it is, I think there could be opportunities for high-rated fodder to drop in the coming days if they're re-releasing old special cards in packs, especially if there's a decent amount of them that are 88 to 92 rated. It's going to bring some of these fodder prices down because those cards are going to be getting supplied a lot on the market, a lot of high rated. It's kind of the same thing that happened during team of the season, right? During TOTS, all of these high-rated fodder cards, they dropped a bunch. Look at where De Bruyne was, 72K in April. By the time we get into team of the season, these guys are down to 25,000 coins because there's so many other TOTS cards that people can use in SBCs besides the golds on the market. So I would be careful with your high-rated fodder. If it has a last-minute spike today, if you still have some in your club or you, you're invested in it and you're trying to sell some, I would maybe sell that then. It's not going to be a good day to invest in the fodder, in my opinion, uh, for sure, with that SBC potentially refreshing, uh, unless you're just going for a quick flip, right? I would not hold fodder too long after Wednesday, after Thursday. Today's also the last day of the season, guys. It's kind of hard to believe that this last season, that a lot of us have probably been level 40 for a while now, this goes away, um, well, technically tomorrow on Thursday in the early morning hours, but this is the last full day. So if you're trying to grind some progress, you need to get to level 40, uh, or if you're maybe just trying to get your rivals wins to get that next tier of uh, rewards, which uh, crazy with this Renato grind, I'm now up to 39 of 50 games played. Probably not going to hit that 50 because I don't care, but I'm getting a reward upgrade for the first time in weeks, maybe months, honestly, from playing more co-op rivals than just about ever but if you're kind of grinding for that watch out for that today other than that probably going to be i mean we'll see that 93 plus player pick is really what's going to move things today move the needle if you will and then if we do get a loading screen that's where some of the hype could be as well now for the end of this video today i do want to take a look at some level up cards and some of the eafc stuff that went on these level up cards man the team two cards are having some price drops goretzka yesterday I mean, in fact, right now, 1.8 million coins. Is that a 1 million coin drop in total in the last 24 hours? Okay, not quite. He was 2.5 mil, 2.4 mil on the cross-platform market. Um, and he has dropped off, well, just about 700,000 coins, 800,000 coins, um, considering he was also, on Monday, still about 2.5 to 2.6K. 
So big time drop off there on Goretzka. Same thing with Chalmany, Darwin Nunez. Um, I think people are selling these off a bit with footies in mind, fearing those. These guys still have another week to do the objectives as well. It's team one that you have to be more worried about. And guys, these prices are still up a lot. Renato Sanchez, 4.3 mil. Werner's down a bit. Enzo is down a little bit. Davies down some too. I'm actually a bit worried that I still have Renato because we're trying to finish him on a co-op. I'm a little bit worried that Renato might end up dropping today because I do think there is going to be one last wave of selling as people get the objectives done right before they go away and uh, these cards are going to drop. So that might be today, this morning, could be tomorrow. Um, trying to get Renato done on the co-op and then get it out because actually I can't believe that I bought the Renato at 3.9 and right now we're just about making coins on that card. That is pretty crazy there. But these level up cards, man, here's what I would tell you. If you're trying to get a Varan, if you're trying to get a Goretzka or a Chameni done, I know you don't want to lose coins, so I see, like, if you see a drop-off like you see on Darwin Nunez right now or Chameni, what I would tell you is buy the card, get the, the games done as fast as you can, and then just get it out because, guys, I really don't think you're going to want to focus on a promo with footies like coming, with a promo like footies coming, let's say it that way. I don't think you're going to want to fo focus on all of these games you have to grind. Footies is a objective and SBC-based promo for all the footies cards. And it's probably going to be lesser of a grind than what level up was. So if you're going to go for one of these, I would say buy the card, grind as much as you can, as fast as you can, get it done, and then just ship it out. And then you don't have to worry about it anymore beyond that. So that's kind of a roundup of the level up prices right now in the market. And let's talk about these pitch notes and the stuff we learned yesterday. I'm not a huge, of course, gameplay guy. We don't talk a lot about gameplay. We still, we play the game a good amount. But I want to point out two things, right? Every single time EA add new features to gameplay, what is overpowered in that coming year, right? It is the new features that they have added. Think about the year they added El Tornado. What was really, really overpowered? The El Tornado. Think about this last year with the power shot. Some of the craziest goals that I score are with power shots, right? Or with like canceling skill moves and older FIFAs. Uh, last year, they added Accelerate 1.0. And what was really popular and really overpowered? lengthy right now what they did in this um eafc 24 they've added another level to this. this is the first thing i want to point out today accelerate 2.0 there are now not just explosive controlled and lengthy run types there are seven different types there's explosive mostly explosive controlled explosive controlled controlled lengthy mostly lengthy and lengthy so basically it took something that was very simple and made it more complex and more confusing but i think it's actually going to make for some really interesting cards um and it's going to be interesting to see players that maybe start as like controlled lengthy or maybe they start as like super lengthy as their as tributes get updated throughout the year and they get promo cards technically if their agility and balance is going up and their strength is still really really high that gap might be slowly closing to be from lengthy to be mostly lengthy to be controlled lengthy and then they might be controlled by the end of the year right we've seen that kind of thing happen this year with some taller strikers that end up getting dribbling boosts that go higher and higher and higher and they don't they're not lengthy anymore right they've just become controlled so it is kind of nice to have different options so that you can go from a lengthy player into a controlled but still have some lengthy before you get just straight a switch over straight to controlled so i'm very interested to see how that changes things up and then the most overpowered part of FIFA 23 gameplay that I want to point you guys to right now, and this is, guys, like, I think this is going to be massive. Like, when I played the game myself, which I already have in kickoff mode, this way of passing through balls, just like it shows here being a very defense-splitting way to put a through ball in, it's, it's very good. And it is definitely going to be a skill gap part of the game where it's going to take some getting used to, and it's not going to work in all situations. But this precision pass guys precision pass combined with the right player with the right play styles right you think about a guy like de bruyne that's got swerve pass a swerve precision pass like this or a, or a lob it's really going to be good this year guys because it's a new tactic and i mean it gives you so much control um over the passes that you want to make the through balls in these examples just look absolutely crispy they look perfectly placed and this is going to be very overpowered guys we're going to be doing a lot of these precision passes in EAFC 24 for sure. And this is one of the new features, right? You have to press R1. Gone are the days of the, uh, what is it? R1 and triangle right now is like your, your threaded through ball or whatever it is. It kind of gives it a little bit more swerve. And now that's going to be a precision pass. And then you can do R1 and the cross button for a lob pass. So I'll leave the link to this deep dive, the pitch notes down below in the description of this video. But I wanted to point that out a bit today because 
those are the two of the biggest things I saw from the trailer, and I think they're going to be impacting the game a lot. And uh, we'll talk about gameplay. We'll talk about all the EAFC features coming more as we learn more throughout the summer. But that was some big news yesterday. And of course, as I said in the beginning of the video, make sure you check out the video we posted just before this one about EAFC and Ultimate Team. There's some big changes in there. So if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. I love you dudes. I'm out. Peace.